What's up guys, Xavier Elon here. My channel is dedicated to hacking, hacker rank and leak code solution explanations. So check out my channel, subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. Today I'm gonna to be going over rotate list medium. Um, it's a linked list problem. So basically they want us to just rotate the list, but we're actually not going to rotate it one step at a time like they do in this example. We're just gonna basically pick up the parts that we need to move and move it all at the same time just by basically moving the pointer arrows, um, adjusting everything. So they tell us they want us to move it to the right two places. Well, that means they just want us to move the last two. So that's how we're gonna do this. As you see, four becomes the new head, um, three becomes the new tail, and uh, the new tail points to null now instead of the old tail, which was five. So that's how we're going to do this. Um, so let's draw this out real quick. This arrow is going to now point to the new or the old head. I guess this is the old head. Old head. New head. New tail. And this is the old tail. So we just need to adjust everything based on this. Um, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna count how many nodes we have. Um, so, well actually we're gonna wanna check the base cases. So if head equals null or head that next equals null, then and if I'm looking over here, I'm looking at OBS or my text messages. Return head. Um, okay, so the first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to create a, a node. So tail, set it equal to head. And this is what we're going to use. N is um, the count we're going to have for the nodes. So n equals one for, so for linked list, we have to um, do first index basically. If you do zero, it's gonna be one off. Um, that's just the way that it iterates through the list. So um, And then we're just um, moving through the list, tail equals tail dot next. And once we do that, we're going to want to move this arrow. So now that we're at tab tail dot next, let's move it to tail dot next. This is actually still head. So let's do tail dot next equals head. And then we're gonna want to Um, basically like adjust K um, if K is greater than N um, we're gonna want to modulus operator it modulo um, so basically if it's like say six well we know N is five in this case so we get one left it just means we need to adjust it one also if five divided by five or modulus is five is zero, so we don't even need to move it. We could just return head. Um, so now let's create our new head. Our uh, new head is tail uh, tail next equals head. New head equals. Oh, we need we haven't set that yet. Um, actually. So list node new tail equals head. Um, so now let's loop through. We're gonna wanna do one again, and we're gonna do i less than k minus n. So that's telling us how many from the back to get. 
right, so now we're going to want to find the new tail. So this is how we find the new tail, um, k minus n. Um, so I believe it's 2 minus 3, or no, is it n minus k? So, sorry. So it's going to be 3, um, which is going to put us at 3, actually, in this. It's going to put us right here. And that's the new tail. That's exactly where we want it to be. So now we have the new tail. Now we just need to adjust everything. Um, new tail dot next. So we're going to want to move new tail dot next is actually going to be um, new head because it's still we're still right here. So we want to adjust that and. And then we just want to, or no, it, I have this backwards. New head is new tail dot next. And then we just want to point new tail dot next to null. And I'm going to put this up here. Um, so let's, I'll show you what I just did. I pointed new tail dot next, which is this arrow right here to null. That's the last thing we want to do because we have to adjust this to uh, point to the new head. So we want to call that first. That's why I called new head equals new tail dot next first. And then we just want to return new head. Make sure you return the new head. It's the, it's the new list basically. And let's submit this. So it got accepted. Let me submit. Actually, submit it. Um, it's not running very fast. I've gotten 100% before. I feel like this is just so arbitrary. Uh, I don't know why it's not going fast. Um, but yeah, basically, this is O of n runtime. Um, o of one space complexity. We don't need to create anything new. We're just creating new nodes, but that doesn't count. We don't have anything on the stack. I'm gonna try to submit it again. Yeah, I don't know. It's not running as fast as it used to. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already.